I'm Neve Coughlin, a director at Richard Saltoon Gallery, here today to introduce you to the third exhibition in our Hannah Arendt program, Chapter 3 of Arendt's Between Past and Future, titled What is Authority? In Arendt's essay, she describes a situation in which authority no longer exists. Lily Dujeri, Lorato Shadi, and Everlyn Nicodemus, three female living artists, each expose the laws of authority and make Arendt's point, illustrating where authority has become destructive, denying freedoms, and ultimately failing. We begin in Gallery 1 with a historic sculpture by the famed Flemish artist Lily Dujeri, titled American Imperialism. This pink painted sheet of steel precariously leans against the black painted gallery wall. The artist has left a gap of about 15 centimeters between the wall and the sheet of steel. You can see a white negative space which challenges the minimalist doctrine of what you see is what you get. This sculpture is a critique not just of American minimalism, but the overriding pressure that the overtly masculine movement had on artists in the 1960s and 1970s. The big great men, Richard Serra, Carl Andre, squashing creative voices that worked with more delicate and subtle media, such as video, as with Dujeri's other work in the show, a series of films from 1972, Amaja. In these silent black and white videos, she films herself cavorting and posing on a bed, nude. Taking the bed, the plinth of the painted female nude throughout art history, as we've seen in Velazquez's Venus, Manet's Olympia, and Rembrandt's Woman in Bed, Dujeri destroys the art historical vision of it. The female nude is so often the subject of the male gaze, but it's here owned by her as she documents her body as she wants it. And this is a neat segue into Gallery 2, where we show the work of Tanzanian-born artist Everlyn Nicodemus. We are absolutely thrilled to be presenting her work, as it's the first time since announcing representation of her work this year. Part of the African diaspora, Nicodemus left Tanzania as a teenager, moving from Sweden to France to Belgium, and ultimately Scotland, where she now lives and works. We are exhibiting eight paintings, each from her Silent Strength series, made between 1989 and 1990. These were painted just after the artist suffered a breakdown, and they illustrate her own anxieties bound to the home while she recovered. The anonymous, curvaceous figures are painted in a severe restricted palette, oranges, brown, red, black, and they're framed next to windows and doors, which allow light into the architectonic spaces, alluding to the promise of health and recuperation. In Gallery 3, we present the work of South African artist Lorato Shadi, for whom many might be familiar from her recent inclusion in an exhibition at the White Chapel here in London. The main work in Gallery 3, Bato Bame, from 2020, is a hard-hitting analysis of the power of language. Bato Bame translates from Setswana as, loosely, my people. This is a critique of the commonplace phrase, we the people, famously used as the leading phrase in the US Constitution and equally of South Africa's oppressive history. Setswana is one of South Africa's official languages, spoken by nearly 10% of the population, and it was one of the country's repressed languages during apartheid. Shadi questions who is we, and the subsequent act of inclusion and exclusion that arises by using the term. By making the phrase a question through the addition of neon writing, stating are we the people question mark. Situated in the same room are Shadi's new series of knitted wool on linen works, highlighting unsung and underappreciated labor. A form of durational and physical performance, the artist actually fasts during the making of these works in order to make herself actively aware of the physical energy needed in their creation. Arendt said that we live in a realm without authority, and as such, we're confronted every day with the elementary problem of living together as humans. Dujeri, Shadi, and Nicodemus each make evident the inherent problems of this living situation, hopefully making way for a new order of things. The exhibition will also be accompanied by a sound commission on our website by Lema Leighton. Hopefully this tour has given you a sense of the works included in the exhibition, and we look forward to welcoming you at the gallery in the near future.